Uh, Stanton Friedman, uh, as far as I know, is, is really perhaps the premier pioneer uh, in uh, constructing the Roswell myth <coughs> and uh, in establishing ufology as a going concern. Uh, I hope that uh, other ufologists uh, won't uh, feel slighted by my uh, judgment. Uh, it's, of course, uh, uh, an opinion uh, on, on my part. Uh, but uh, as I understand it, uh, uh, he was the first, really, uh, beginning in 1978, uh, to uh, interview uh, Jesse Marcel uh, in a systematic uh, way uh, to find uh, other purported uh, witnesses uh, to the events that took place. And uh, it was uh, his information that played a major role uh, in uh, the, uh, the book, uh, uh, The Roswell Incident, uh, in 1980. Uh, and uh, he has consistently, as far as I know, uh, I don't know him personally, but uh, I've seen him on television and uh, I've read some of what he's written. Uh, as far as I know, he has consistently uh, maintained uh, his presence uh, in the UFO community and has been a major uh, supporter uh, of uh, the idea that uh, alien ships uh, have been monitoring the Earth, uh, that there have been contacts between uh, aliens and Earth Earthmen, uh, some of them uh, not planned by the aliens. Uh, they didn't intend to crash uh, at Roswell. Uh, but uh, contacts of a sort, uh, at, uh, at any rate. So. Uh, his, his presence uh, is, uh, is uh, of tremendous importance, so his contribution has been major uh, in establishing uh, the, uh, the UFO tapestry, as, as I would uh, call it. Now, um, there have been other ufologists who have also played uh, prominent roles, but um, less consistently, uh, as far as I know, uh, than has uh, Friedman. Uh, so that, <coughs> for instance, uh, Kevin Randall, uh, has been a major supporter of the Roswell myth, uh, has contributed to it, uh, has spoken very well in public uh, about it. But uh, uh, there is a kind of, it seems to me, uh, uh, not conflict so much as a kind of inconsistency uh, in the way that uh, Randall has uh, handled uh, parts of the uh, UFO uh, tapestry. I'm sure that uh, Randall, uh, whom I've also never met, uh, uh, would disagree with me, but um, I have uh, read uh, the book that uh, he co-authored uh, with uh, Russ uh, Estes and uh, William Cohn, uh, The Abduction uh, Enigma, which is really a debunking book uh, of the alien abduction phenomenon. Now, uh, let me immediately say that I, I like the book very much. I, I think it's, uh, it's an excellent uh, book. It's, it's very well researched. Uh, it's carefully thought out. Uh, there are all sorts of interesting inferences and interpretations. Uh, it's very lucidly uh, written. Uh, uh, I, uh, I, I think it's, it's, uh, uh, it's an excellent uh, work of its sort, but it is a, it is a work of debunking. Uh, so for an outsider like myself, uh, a, a skeptic, uh, uh, Randall seems a bit of, uh, of an inconsistency. Uh, uh, he, uh, uh, he shows with great power uh, some of the uh, problems with accepting uh, abduction reports. Uh, on the other hand, as far as I know, he still supports the idea that a spaceship crashed outside of Roswell, New Mexico. How come he doesn't transfer the skepticism uh, that he showed in the abduction uh, book uh, to, uh, to his treatment uh, of other aspects of the UFO phenomenon? Um, even more so, uh, we have the interesting figure of Carl Flock, uh, whom I know slightly, that is, I've uh, corresponded with him by email and I've talked to him on the telephone. Um, can't say that I really know him, but I have uh, read some of his uh, writings uh, and uh, have some sense of uh, what, what he's been about. Um, he uh, starts off his recent uh, book uh, uh, called uh, Roswell, uh, Inconvenient Facts uh, and the Will to Believe by saying that he is anti-Roswell but pro-ufology. Uh, uh, his book is, is, is a kind of masterpiece of debunking. Uh, in which uh, 
he shows that over a period of eight years, he has been very active uh, in, in his research. Uh, he, uh, he has uncovered all sorts of things. He has called a huge number of people on the telephone. Uh, he's uh, interviewed all sorts of people in person. Uh, he has assembled a huge uh, mass of, uh, of documentary data to support him. Uh, he he uh, uh, has presented, I guess, what is probably the major uh, case uh, against accepting the idea that a saucer crashed at Roswell. Um, and yet, he thinks uh, that uh, aliens uh, have been monitoring the Earth. Uh, uh, how do we reconcile uh, his debunking of Roswell uh, with uh, his, uh, uh, his uh, commitment to the idea that there's probably truth to the notion that you, some UFOs, at least, are alien spacecraft? Um, I think that Friedman uh, has been more consistent in his point of view. Uh, he has certainly uh, debunked individual ufologists uh, when they have presented uh, perspectives that he thinks are uh, far-fetched, uh, not supported by the facts. But that, that's rather like a, a tree surgeon uh, cutting off the rotted limbs of a tree uh, in order to preserve the trunk. Um, Randall and Flock have gone further. Uh, they're more than tree surgeons. Uh, they're dynamiters. Uh, so I, I find uh, Friedman uh, more, more consistent uh, in, uh, in that regard. And uh, it's interesting um, to me uh, as an anthropologist uh, and as a, someone interested in myths, <coughs> there, there is uh, in, uh, in many of the myths of the world um, a focus on uh, mythological twins. Um, Sometimes they are real twins, sometimes they're just siblings, sometimes they're good friends, or sometimes they're antagonists uh, who together sum to a whole, uh, representing uh, different uh, points of view. Uh, and uh, in some mythologies, uh, the twins cooperate with one another to achieve important things for human beings. Uh, in other myths, uh, they oppose uh, one another, uh, and uh, one eventually triumphs over the other. Now, <clears throat> in ufology, we have uh, mythological twins uh, in the persons uh, of um, Stanton T. Friedman uh, and uh, Philip Klass. Um, they uh, represent diametrically opposed views. Uh, Philip Klass has invested a great part of his life in attempting to debunk uh, what Stanton Friedman affirms, and Stanton Friedman uh, has uh, invested a good part of his life in trying to support and defend uh, what Philip Klass uh, would tear down uh, and uh, destroy. Uh, these two men um, have taken quite opposite views, but as Carl Flock uh, pointed out to me in an email, they're equally members of the UFO community. Uh, in that their interests uh, are UFO-centered, uh, in that uh, they, uh, uh, they have taken a good deal of their personal identity uh, from uh, their contributions to the debate uh, as uh, to uh, whether or not there are alien spaceships, and if so, what that means. So <coughs> um, you have a kind of consistent set of opposite twins, uh, Friedman uh, and, uh, and Klass, um, they're similar uh, in, uh, uh, in, in the fact that they have uh, invested a good part of their life and, and personal identity in, in what they do. Uh, and uh, they make for an interesting uh, contrast. Uh, so one could compare, and probably should compare, Friedman to other ufologists such as Randall and Flock. Uh, on the other hand, uh, one also has to compare him uh, to somebody like uh, Klaas. Uh, I think that uh, comparing him simply to one set uh, or the other would be an incomplete uh, perspective on, on uh, Friedman. Uh, he, uh, he is a tree surgeon uh, who has debunked uh, other ufologists, uh, but at the same time he has given his life really to defending the, the tree. Uh, and uh, uh, he has uh, uh, attempted to prevent uh, class and uh, other such uh, from uh, bulldozing it. So uh, uh, he's a very interesting person, and I, I hope someday uh, I'll be able to talk to him uh, personally.
personally and uh, learn more about uh, where he is coming from and where he hopes to go.